forecast. We warn you first. Good evening, I'm forecaster Kaylee Hunt, and taking a look at the satellite radar, well, we really didn't get any rain activities throughout the day. There was a little bit of isolated thunderstorms, however, that was even out of southeast New Mexico to the west part of Carlsbad. We really saw just a little bit of cloud coverage, but taking a look at our temperatures, well, we climbed right back up into the 90s. 93 for Midland and Odessa, 97 for Wink, even south of I-10. The only area that wasn't in the 90s was Marfa with a high of 87 right now. But seeing where we are now compared to where we were this time yesterday, most, if not all, of the viewing area is showing up warmer today than yesterday. Take a look at Wink, 11 degrees warmer right now. Fort Stockton, 12 degrees warmer at this time than 24 hours ago, meaning this warm weather is definitely a trend and it's definitely here to stay. But seeing exactly how cool it's going to get later on this evening, well, around 10 p.m., we are going to climb out of the 90s and back down into the mid to Upper 80s, 84 for Midland Odessa around 10 p.m., and then 86 in Big Spring. The rest of the viewing area will be very similar. And overnight into tomorrow morning, while well, our lows are relatively warmer than average, you do want to be in the mid to lower 70s. And well, by 6 a.m., Midland Odessa will be at 75, Big Spring 74, even south of I 10, a little bit better just depending on where you're at. Marfa and Alpine will be exactly right at average in the mid to upper 60s, but for the rest of the viewing area, a little bit. Bit warmer than average. Switching gears, seeing exactly when we're going to get another good chance for rain. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to hit any parts of our viewing area. Later on, early tomorrow morning around 3 a.m., southeast New Mexico could be seeing a little bit of pop up storms and showers along with some cloud coverage. But as you can tell, the rest of the viewing area isn't looking to get any rain and barely any cloud coverage, meaning it's going to be another sunny and warm day. And that's not good news for a drought monitor because a large portion is showing up yellow and or orange. Right now, Midland and Big Spring showing up orange. It means it's showing up severe on this drought monitor. We really could use a little bit more rain to get us out of that category. But because we haven't had any good rain for today and or for yesterday, our dew points aren't looking too good. They actually are below average. So as you're heading out the door this evening, you're going to notice it's going to feel very warm outside and also very dry. Again, because these dew points are in the mid to upper 40s. We want them to be in the mid to upper 50s and even overnight into tomorrow morning. They're really not going to increase by all that much. So even as you head out the door tomorrow morning around 7 a.m., dew points are going to be in the lower 50s, meaning it's not going to be feel humid at all. Switching gears, looking at the wind speed, it really was calm for most of the day. In Midland and Odessa, we're looking at wind speeds in the single digits. For most of the viewing area, even along I-10, 6 miles per hour for Pecos and for Fort Stockton. And it is calm south of I-10. Not a very windy day, but it was a warm day. And like I said, that trend is definitely going to carry on over for tomorrow. Temps are going to be in the mid to upper 90s. 98 tomorrow for Andrews, 93 for Seminole. Midland and Odessa will, yes, be in the 90s. 98, but at least we're not going to be in the hundreds. 95 for Penwell, 98 for Grand Falls. And then we have Trans Pecos. Well, Pecos, unfortunately, will be hitting the triple digits, but the rest of Trans Pecos looking to be in the mid to upper 90s. But honestly, that is still very, very warm. Now, the mountains will be slightly cooler than the rest of the viewing area. Marfa 89 as well as Fort Davis, but Presidio is always warmer in the hundreds. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. Today is Wednesday, meaning it's hump day, and we're getting closer and closer to this weekend. But the temperatures are going to pretty much stay the same. So Thursday and Friday, upper 90s, not quite in the hundreds, but very, very close. And then this weekend is going to be very bright, very sunny, and very warm with temps in the mid to upper 90s. So if you do do any outdoor activities, if you do hit the pool, make sure you wear your sunscreen and stay hydrated because these warm temperatures. Temperatures are here to Absolutely. stay. Absolutely. Yes. The rain is out, the sunshine is here. Is here. What we can expect for summer. Yes, rain. <laughs> exactly. And these temperatures are really right at average. Very right. warm. Just safety tips, make mm -hmm. sure you remember. Absolutely. Kaylee, yes. thank you.